In just over one week, vaccine appointments will be open to all Idahoans ages 16 and older. All Idahoans means even those who have had COVID before and even those who still suffer with symptoms, otherwise known as COVID long haulers. Our Katya Stepovic spoke with a long hauler about why she's concerned about getting vaccinated and what one Idaho health expert has to say about it. Katya. Well, Shira, I spoke to a long hauler today said she's concerned that getting a COVID-19 vaccine could make her current symptoms even worse. And she says she's not alone in feeling this way. I don't know what COVID's doing to my body, but I also don't know what the vaccine would do to my body. Angie Noons lives in Meridian and has suffered from COVID-19 symptoms like chest pain, shortness of breath and nausea for nine months. There's a part of me that feels like if it made me sick or made my symptoms worse, I don't know that my body could take that either. The feeling of like you're drowning or you can't breathe is is really overwhelming for me to go through. Noon says the idea of getting COVID again, though, is making her at least consider the vaccine. I have huge fear of getting COVID again. I mean, huge, huge fear. Dr. Pate, former St. Luke CEO, says that exact fear is why he is encouraging long haulers to get vaccinated. There is more and more evidence that previous COVID infection is going to be less likely to protect you from infection with some of the variants. And as bad as their long COVID is, uh, and whatever the vaccine might do to them, I have to imagine getting infected, re reinfected with one of the variants would be worse. He adds, while there haven't been clinical studies completed that look at the effects of vaccine on long haulers, what he does know is promising. Some of the long haulers in the first few days after the vaccine, like many people without long haulers who get vaccinated, can have a rough go of things. But even those individuals are telling us that those symptoms did go away in a matter of days. And many of them are telling us uh, that they are feeling significantly better in the long term. He says normally if a long hauler was on the fence, he would say it's OK to wait and see what happens in clinical trials. But that could take months. And with the presence of new variants, I don't think we have time. And I think the risks of, of an infection, reinfection, are, are probably far more concerning than getting the vaccine. And for Noons, the question of whether to get vaccinated is becoming a little clearer as time goes by. Every day that goes by, I'm probably uh, a little further towards the yes. Just because I have so much fear in catching it again, that I feel as if maybe it would be good for me to to do it. Not there yet, though. <laughs> So again, starting April 5th, all Idahoans age 16 and older will be eligible to become vaccinated. And we have some helpful resources on how people can schedule appointments on KTVB.com. Shira. Good information there. Thank you, Katya.